Wake up, miss. I don't know how you got on this train, but you're in Switzerland. All right, it's time to find my father's laboratory. So this is Kruslingen in Switzerland. Where to begin? I'll talk to this shopkeeper. All right, we're in a whole new area. We finally got out of that train station. I think the artwork in this game is, is pretty. It's very nice in general. But I just have one criticism, and that is that I don't think the artist is very good at painting women. Especially the main character. She's wearing a shirt and suspenders and stuff. And it's like, I've noticed that in almost every picture of her, every scene where we can see the protagonist, she just doesn't look quite right. Like, her face is kind of okay, but it's like the artist didn't know how to do boobs or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if y'all have noticed the same thing, but it's like sometimes it looks like she has no boobs. Sometimes it looks like her boobs are like way, way up high on her chest, just under her chin. Uh, sometimes it looks like her shirt is like stuck under her boobs or something. Like, come on, man. It can't be that hard. I mean, the rest of the artwork is so nice. <laughs> is it just me? Come on. Uh, watch though. You just watch. Just watch next time they show the protagonist. All right. There's the atom symbol. We have found 13 out of 30. Hope I haven't missed any. Let's start over here. We can zoom in on this. A wheel is missing from this lawnmower. Alright, World of Science. Young student of physics, Albert Einstein, receives honorable alpha badge at Zurich University. Okay. We can go to the market. Let's not leave quite yet. We can go to the port. We can zoom in over here. Now, I have a flag with me, so let's put that in there. And get number nine. Number nine. Looks like it might be missing some pieces in this mural. Or this shield here on the, on the monument. But we don't have much with us except number nine. Yeah, because... Uh, our dad left us 5,000 francs, but we blew all that money buying that car from Ferdinand Porsche that didn't even have a working battery and it had a flat tire and we had to fix that all up. And then we just abandoned it. I don't know where it was. In the middle of the road somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I got no money at all. So what am I going to do? How, what am I supposed to do in Switzerland now? Let's go talk to him. Hello, you're Emily, aren't you? My name is Jacob. How do you Surprised? know me? Your father told me about you and showed me a picture. You know my dad? I'm looking for him. He disappeared and he's in danger. I haven't seen him for a few months. But yesterday I saw the lights on in his house. Maybe he is back. It's a big house in the square. Harthof 26. Wait, I have a request. The wind blew my head away. If you find it, please bring it back to me. What? Dude, I just told you that my dad's in danger and he's been missing and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, that's nice. Hey, if you find my lost hat, let me know. Gee whiz. This guy. I'm taking it. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. Fishing lures must be popular. Not many of them are left. Well, about half of them. They can't be that popular. 
14 of 30. We're almost halfway through the game. The board sign is missing an anchor. You want me to find that too, buddy? Gotta find your hat and your anchor. This guy. Alright, let's go to the port. Oh, there's an atom. Now we're halfway through the game. Ooh, fish heads, fish heads, fish heads. The fish is missing its head. Yep, sure is. Oh, I got a scoop. And of course, I'm gonna have to repair this, aren't I? It's always the way. Alright, let's talk Excuse to this guy. Me. What is that glass construction on the lake? It's Zeppelin's hangar. He's building an airship. Can you imagine that? I can imagine quite a lot. I'm Is Emily, this Albert Einstein? I'm Albert. I'm studying science in Zurich. He's the got the badge on. Where's my landing net? Please hand it to me. We were just reading the paper about how he'd gotten a badge. I'm sorry, what, what did he want? The bobber is moving. Where's my landing net? Please hand it to me. Your landing net? I, I don't know where your landing net is. Let's see what's up here. We can't get in there. I, I don't know. I don't know where the net is. Albert. Need a boat to get there. Yeah, you do. Alright, so what have we got? We've got a handle. We've got a scoop. We've got a crest piece and number nine. Let's go here. Let's use the crest piece. Alright, now we just gotta find a chevron to put in there. And this will probably open up. What's this? Oh, there's his hat. Oh, Hardhoff. Isn't this my dad's house? It moves just like in one of my dad's secret locks. Oh, let's use the nine. Twenty-nine. No. Locked. Jacob claims this is my dad's house. Okay. All right, let's go give him the hat. Maybe he'll have more to tell us. My hat. Thanks. By the way, I have a package for your father. Now, where is it? Please tell me, do you know my father well? I didn't know he had a house in Switzerland. I know he is a scientist and sometimes works here. He's a good man. It must be in my shed in the port, but I can't find the key. Here it is. I mean, the package, not the key. I still have to find the key to my shed. There are a lot of useful things in there. Take it. Great. Oh! He's moved, so now we can get in here. What's going on here? The key hook is empty. The hole is too narrow to put a hand in there. Oh, so he put a pot right underneath his key hook? That's probably where the key is, right? And we got a block of wood. We're just going to take that. He, he doesn't care. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh. I still have to find the key to my shed. Uh -huh, there uh -huh. are a lot of useful you. things in there. Okay. There we go. Woohoo! 
Uh, now what? I don't know how to set the switches. Okay. Maybe that information is in one of these things. We have a mallet head. Let's see about putting a handle on it. Ah, there we go. And let's see about opening this package. Yeah, see, it said 26 on it, and that's why I figured I had the, the number upside down there. It's tied tight. I have to cut those strings. Of course. Uh, all right. So much could be solved in these games if people just carried a pocket knife. A Swiss army knife. How about that? Alright, this guy. I don't know if there's much else we can do for him. Um, scoop. And a mallet. Oh, maybe I gotta break the pot with the mallet. Do you mind if I break your pot there, buddy? He didn't need that anyway. It is fine. Oh, it's a key to my port shed. Keep it. If you need tipping it upside down would have been too difficult. <laughs> we had to break it. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll find some resin and put it back together for you. Stop looking at me like you want something, Albert. I'm working on it, okay? Maybe I'll find your net in the shed here. This is gonna be hidden objects, isn't it? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Fishing rod. Do we need an anchor? take back to that guy. Oh no, that was something else. What was that? The basket? I thought we needed an anchor for his uh, sign over his shop. Okay. Fishing net. Deck, deck chair. Telescope. Mistletoe. Why do we need mistletoe? Why would there be mistletoe in the shed? Is he keeping his Christmas decorations out here? Crab? Zero out of three. How about... Okay, we have one out of three. Two out of three. Three out of three. There's the seagull. Jacket. Does he mean life jacket or just regular jacket? Regular jacket, I guess. Map. Uh, let's see. Is this the deck chair? One of those kind of like fishing net deck chair things? Uh, no? It was just a fishing net. Okay. I thought it was like, you know those big hanging hammock kind of things? Okay, no, that's actual deck chair. Okay. Uh, telescope. Mistletoe and fishbone. Um, where was the fishbone? I thought I saw it. And where the heck is the mistletoe? There's the mistletoe. Interact. Oh, there's the portrait. And the fishbone. Oh. There it is. Fishbone. You have found the fishing net. Is that what Albert wants? Is this what you want? No? Oh, man. I don't think we have a fish head yet. No. Well, I was hoping to find something useful in that shed, like a, like a knife to cut the string on this package. Oh, we're going to use the scoop on the boat, apparently. And we're going to find a ruler, yardstick. We're going to find his broken net. And the ore is useless without an ore lock. Okay. Pry it open with something. I don't think we have anything to pry it open with. But let's fix the net. There we go. But we still need a handle for it. Uh, let's see, what else have we got going on here? The ruler. What's up with the ruler? Yeah. So, 
Why do we need a ruler? An extended ruler. Nope, that's not quite what he wants. Got it, got it, got it. If you need anything from the shed, just take it. Well, I need a knife to cut the strings on this package. Can you loan me a knife? Apparently not. Oh, what's this? Too high to reach. Well, we have an extended ruler. Maybe we'll use that to fix the net. Let's take that to Albert. Wonderful fish. Do you want it? I'm not no. sure. I want a I'm knife. I'm a scientist, not a housewife. A female scientist? Like Marie Sklodowska Curry? Maybe we could spend some time together. Maybe later. I'm looking for my father. He's in great danger. Give the fish to my uncle, the shopkeeper. He will help you. He knows everyone in town. Okay. Oh, it's alive! It's from Albert, isn't it? He's a student. I'm proud of him. And what about your father? Have you been in his house? No, I'm I can't get in. He's not there. The house is locked. Strange. I'm sure I saw the lights on there yesterday evening. By the way, I borrowed this book from your father. Oh, okay. Can I have that knife though? Thank you. Can I chop the fish head off this fish and put it on that box that was on the pier and... No? All right, let's take a look at the package. Let's use the knife. Oh, it's a puzzle box. The infinity symbol opens it. Well, too bad we don't have the infinity symbol anymore. We had to use that earlier in the game and left it behind. It looks like the code to the safe's locked. The safe's locked? You mean the front door? All right, here we go. Down. Up. Middle. Okay. And then we go... Up. Down. There. Then we go down. Down. Up. And now we can get into the house. Yay! Whoa! What's that in the fireplace? The White King is missing. Ferdinand Zeppelin's airship is almost ready to fly. The inventor says he will soon begin the electrolysis of lake water to fill the airship with hydrogen. Yeah, don't get aboard! Don't get on board that! We know what's going to happen there. Oh, the humanity. Something is missing here. Another owl? Okay. A watch with an engraved winged Z. Strange. Its chain is entangled in the statue, so there's no way to take hold of it. Okay. Maybe when we deal with all of this, there'll be a drawer that opens here. Okay. The lens is missing and there's no movie reel. Okay. Let's walk up over here. There's a lure. 
There is an owl. And this looks like a puzzle. Jacob has a book from this series. He borrowed it from my father. All right, so we have to go get the book back from Jacob. Jacob just seems to be at the center of everything here. Okay, what's going on here? We'll take that. Something is blocking the socket. I can't plug in the cable. I can't see it precisely. A magnifying glass would be helpful. Well, too bad I don't have a magnifying glass. I guess this is going to have to just... It looks like the place for the Greek letter alpha. All right. This is just going to have to wait. And I'm thinking we're going to get this alpha maybe from Einstein. He had that pinned on his chest. I don't know where we're going to get this one though. Okay. We've got a lot to work on here. Oh, and there's an atom symbol. 16 out of 30. So we have another owl. Let's put that in place. Oh, it opened up the drawer already. Professor Patterson, that's my dad. Will we send the gamma badge in a or we will send the gamma badge in a secured package. I'm a bit puzzled by the idea of using them as keys. By the way, we decided to give the alpha badge to a student from Zurich, Albert Einstein. His calculations on mass and energy are very interesting. Okay, in a secured package. Is that the package I already opened? Oh. It looks like it's the same kind of stone as in their eyes, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, wow. So much stuff going on here. Okay. And there's a book. So let's put the book over here. And let's go get the last book from Jacob. Jacob, you said this book was from my father. Do you need it? Oh, that reminds me. It's probably unimportant, but Zeppelin asked about your father. Never mind. Take the book. Nothing is unimportant. That's probably another clue. So we're going to meet Zeppelin too. All right, let's put, oh, we got to find all three before we can put it in place. Okay. All right, so we have a case that we can't open until we have an infinity symbol. We have fishing lures that we can't do anything with until we find all three. We have a poker. We have a diamond pin and we have the book. Okay. Let's go put the book in place. I think that's the next step here. Aha! Push all the books deep into the shelf. Okay. Oh, it's one of those kind of games. I guess I did it right. Now we have the infinity symbol. I don't know why I went back outside with it. <laughs> Didn't need to. Still locked. I should check those angular fittings. The diamond pin, maybe? Let's try something different. Those angular fittings. Oh, I see. I have to mess with them. There we go. They could have just said I gotta check the corners. Or the corner bracket. That's the secured package. Right, 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 right. Because the box is in the package that we opened. That's gonna need to go right there. But first we have to get this out. Oh! Good day, here. Miss. Good day, sir. Hello. Are you Ferdinand Zeppelin? I heard about your airship. My name is Emily Patterson. Don't use Daughter hydrogen. Don't I'm use hydrogen. I was just looking for your father. Do you know anything about him? I'm looking for him too. No, we had some communication breakdown. I hoped he would be at his house. 
Please let me know if he comes back. And come to visit my airship, of course. No thanks. Oh dang, he's just gonna sail out there? You could have taken me with you. What an asshole. Alright, we still can't get in here. I think we need a fish head to get in here. Uh, we need an oarlock. Here. We might be able to pry it open with the poker. There we go. Oh, we found another fishing lure. That probably goes on the shop sign. Oops, some broken binoculars. And that's all we got here. Okay. Hey there. You're Albert Einstein, aren't you? I need your help. Yes, I am. What can I do for you? I need your alpha badge. I'm almost certain it's the key to my dad's laboratory. My badge is a key? Impossible. It's an honorable scientific distinction, not a key. Show me this laboratory. I'll go with you. Okay. Uh, it's in here? You were right. My alpha badge will fit there, but I'm confused. It's not easy to get this award. I don't quite understand why I was given it. There are three other batches of this kind. Beta, Delta, Gamma, and I've never heard of one person having all of them. By the way, do you see those engraved magnetic field lines? I think you'll need a magnet too. Alright, take my batch. Oh, okay. Thanks. I'll give it back when I'm done. Alright, I think we're going to need to do something with these binoculars to make a magnifying glass. Alright, let's go see the guy. What's his name? Jacob? And we'll fix his sign. There we go. Get the fish head. I don't know about you guys, but I always keep my fish heads in my shop sign. And let's see. We'll it's talk to probably him. Probably unimportant, but Zeppelin asked yeah, about already, your father. Yeah, I already ran into Zeppelin and he sailed off without me. The big jerk. Uh okay. All right, let's go use the fish head. It's jammed. I have to pry it open with something, of course. Oh, there's a broken magnifying glass. And whatever that is. Some tweezers. Oh, that'll probably help us unclog that one area of the fireplace, whatever's going on there. There's the last lure. And there's a little fishy. Okay, hang on a second. There we go. It's a little puzzle box. We have a magnet now. Okay. See, I gotta try to repair this boat so I can go out here to my dad's secret lab. But this asshole just sailed off in his boat without me and went right out there. Zeppelin. He's not gonna take my advice. He's gonna use hydrogen. It's all gonna go horribly wrong. Okay. That's not quite right, but... Oh, right, I gotta use the magnifying glass first. Okay. I should try something else. Okay, wait, 
right, well, we have all three lures, so let's take these over here. Maybe there's something we're missing. We gotta put the three lures on here. All right, hang the fishing lures in the correct spots. Okay. Uh, that guy goes there. That one goes there. There we go. What the heck did we get? This guy's got all kinds of strange little contraptions all over his shop here. What do we get? A jar opener? Why do we need a jar opener? Is that how we're gonna take apart the broken binoculars? It sure is! Now we have a lens! Ah, uh, now we have a magnifying glass. Okay. Now we'll use the gamma symbol. South at the top and north at the bottom, according to the arrows on the magnetic field lines, is wrong. All right, so we'll use the magnet. That's what Albert has suggested. Reverse the polarity. There's a secret passage. Dad, are you there? Wait, I have a bad feeling about this. Let me see if it's safe. Oh no, Albert, wait, what are you doing? It's not my fault, you crept me. Never Ooh. mind, we have to disarm those electric charges. Was there a little romantic a moment there? He knows my dad. Maybe he'll help. Did they have a little moment? You need a boat to visit Zeppelin. If you need any parts or tools, look around the city well. Do I get to romance Albert Einstein? Dang. You need a boat to visit Zeppelin. If you need any parts or tools, look around the city well. The city well? Oh. Oh, thank you, Albert. How incredibly helpful that you are. <gasps> there's a gnome! Look at there's a little gnome hanging on the well! Oh, I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, what else do we need to find here? Some kind of handle. And a key, and whatever this is. I think that's it right there. The lid's handle is missing. Yeah. Okay, well, let's use a crank. No rope on the windlass. Okay. Uh, gotta find a rope, I guess. Is that rope? It's like rope, maybe? I don't know what that thing is. Is that supposed to be a bell? If we gotta put it up here? Yeah, oh, there we go. Let's put the handle in here. It's locked. I need a key to open it. Oh, we have a hook. We have a hoe. I still need to find a key. Tickles me. I don't know. A key and a rope. But we have a hoe and a hook to use. Those vines should be trimmed. Okay, let's try. No? 
Oh, here we go. We found a key. Let's get the rope. Let's put the rope on the wind glass. Now the hook, I guess. No? What are we doing here? Let's interact. It's locked by some kind of red mechanism with an empty cross shape. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. There we go. Maybe we gotta put a hook on it? Aha! Okay. Oh, now we can cut away the plants over here. Trim the hedges. And find the, whatever that is, a stirrup or something? Oh, it's an ore lock. Okay, right. We need that for the boat. All right, now we can, oh, it's Zeppelin's hangar out here. Okay, that's what that is. I thought it was my dad's laboratory, but it's not. Let's go visit Zeppelin. Welcome. Any news about your father? Unfortunately not. I would love to help, but I have my own problems. The electrolysis of the lake water is too slow to fill my airship with hydrogen. Perhaps that's because lake water is a poor electrolyte. Oh, you know about electrolysis? You could help me. Please come to my workshop. The door is open. Okay, I'm gonna grab this atom here, 17 out of 30. New task, help Zeppelin. Why is he growing trees up here? Target, it's too high to inspect. Is this hydroponics? The grass is too high, I would trim it. Oh, that's why we need the lawn mower. We need the mower that's down in town there, back in town. What's going on here? It works, but I have to add salt to the container before I switch it on. Okay. Salt is necessary to speed up the electrolysis of the lake water. Ah, uh, so he should be using ocean water, not fresh water. Let's go look in his workshop. I'm glad you will help me with electrolysis. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going back to the hangar. Oh, okay. I'll take that duster, I guess. What a big window. You can see what's going on in the hangar. Yeah. All right, what's going on here? A trash can secured with handcuffs? Strange. Yeah, that is strange. Why would he have that? Somebody keeps stealing his trash can? Electrolysis schematic. Electrolysis is the process of decomposition of water into oxygen and hydrogen. It's faster in salt water as it has better electric conductivity. Remember, Jacob promised to get salt for the electrolysis process. All right, Jacob is the guy in the market. So maybe I gotta go talk to Jacob about salt. I will take that pen nib. Tip of a fountain pen. And there's the king. Aha. The cork is stuck. It's an adjustable desk. It must be operated with the crank that is missing. Okay. Found a lot of cranks and valves and handles and things in this particular game. <laughs> Oh, we'll just grab that. We'll just take that with us. Don't mind us. Uh, but there's a key right there. Can I have that key? No? Oh, what's this? It's blocked. Ornamental swans. Zeppelin's cane head had a similar shape. Okay. I believe you can speed up the electrolysis process. Ooh, this is all locked up. It'd be easy to open it. Okay. It's 
it's marvelous. Yeah, until it blows up. Alright. Oh, just a quick row back to town. Anything else to do here? Did we end up... Yeah, we grabbed... There was an atom. Was there an atom in here that we found? Nope. There it is right there. We hadn't picked it up yet. There we go. Gotta get those atoms. Well, let's talk to Jacob about the salt water. Jacob, Zeppelin ordered some salt at your shop. Is it ready? Sure, but it's in one big block. I'll put it on the counter. Maybe Zeppelin want a decent compass too? I have one spare in my shed in the port. Okay, thanks. Are you telling me to go out and do another hidden object puzzle out there? Alright, let's check in with our inventory. We have a duster. We have a nib. We have a chest king. We have a stool. And we have a block of salt. Right, let's go put the chest king in here. Aha! What does this get us? You <gasps> did it! Albert, I'd like to enter alone. You know it's a secret and... I'll wait here. Well, that's awfully nice of you. I mean, he was given a badge, so... You know, he's kind of part of the inner circle, I would think. But, alright, we'll go in the secret room. Without Albert Einstein. There's an atom. Find where your dad is. <gasps> Ooh, there's one of the owl eyes. We'll take that. It works, but it won't play. The arm is missing a needle. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, hang on. Just hang on a second. Hang on a second. All right, y'all, just hang on. Now, I know they had phonographs pretty early. But I thought they were using wax cylinders, not pressed records. I thought pressed records came along later. All right, we gotta do we gotta do a history check of this game again. We haven't had a history check in a little while. Let's look. Phonograph, also called a gramophone. The gramophone was trademarked. It looks like in 1887. Since the 40s was called a record player. Okay, the phonograph was invented in 1877 by Thomas Edison. And Alexander Graham Bell made several improvements in the 1880s and introduced the gramophone that used wax coated cardboard cylinders. Ah, okay. In the 1890s, Emil Berliner transitioned from phonograph cylinders to flat discs with a spiral groove running from the periphery to near the center. Okay. All right. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. This was, this is correct. 1890s. It says they started using flat discs. I didn't realize it was that early. I thought they were still using. Yeah. See, cause here's a picture of one. It says Edison wax cylinder phonograph circa 1899, which would be the year before this takes place. This game takes place in 1900. So they definitely still had the ones with, with wax cylinders at that point but all right her dad's a scientist so maybe he's got an early prototype of the flat disc and gramophones I'll, I'll let it go i'll allow it too much dust let's use the duster Ooh, what is this all right pen it's missing a pen well it's because i just took the pen out of its hand of course it's missing a pen when you take the pen away from it. Oh, there's the chevron that goes in town. This automaton hand is missing an important part. Okay, hang on a second. Let's look at the fountain pen. Ah, see the nib is broken. 
So let's put the nib on here. The ink cartridge is empty. Okay, so we need to get some ink. I don't know if we have anything like ink yet. Okay. This looks a little bit like Fergus's robotic arm in Wolfenstein too. It's missing a pen. Right. Okay. All right. Let's keep on looking around. See what we see. Yeah, we can walk up to that. Okay. Well, let's do it. I'll grab that corkscrew. A part is missing. It must control the globe's rotation. Can't rotate the globe. It is blocked. All right. All right. I think we're getting closer, though. Hey, Albert, there's all kinds of cool stuff downstairs. I wish I could bring him with me. I think he deserves to see everything. But let's, let's put the owl's eye in place. And we'll grab this, whatever it is. What did we just find? Oh, a gramophone needle. All right, we'll take that downstairs. I bet that goes on the gramophone. There we go. Confrontation with Dalbanyak is unavoidable. It will put Emily in danger, so I should leave her as soon as possible. She's grown up. She can handle it by herself, but I will miss her. It's my dad's voice. Oh, so he's explaining why he went off and left her. I was saying that earlier. Like, I thought that was pretty shitty of him to just go off and leave his daughter and not tell her what was going on and not warn her that, like, some bad shit was going down. But, all right. So he d he basically wanted to protect her. That's what they always say in movies and TV and video games and stuff, right? I've got to stay away from you for your own good. I want to protect you. I don't want to involve you in all of this, right? All right, I guess we're done with the gramophone. So what do we have now? A projector lens. Let's put it on the projector. But we still don't have a movie reel back here. Okay, but we have a cork or a corkscrew. Where did we see a cork earlier and we needed to pull out a place? And we have a crest piece. Okay. I know the crest piece goes out here, this little chevron. Alright, well I mean I left that one on bowl because of the horns at the top. And then I changed that one because it had wings at the top but not horns. And so there we go, it opened up. We used crystals to record coded information. A special automaton hand is able to read them. This technology is better than the code cards used by D'Albanac. It must not fall into his hands, or again, he will use it against the common people. It's my dad's writing. Okay. I will take this crystal. And I guess that's probably all we need here. What do we got? control stick and a crystal cube. Alright, let's go in the house and put this in here and see what happens. Oh, he can't do anything until we give him a pen, so we need to find some ink. Some kind of unfinished drawing. Alright, we need to find ink. That's what we need to do. And then we have a control stick. Maybe it goes in here? There we go. Oh, it's a puzzle. Find missing elements and put them in the correct places. Okay. Okay, so now what? 
Oh, gotta do it again. We're doing constellations here. Is that what this is? Scorpio, Leo, Virgo. We were doing Taurus, Aries, Gemini. Aha! The movie reel. Another missing part. We'll take that. Okay. We're not done with this thing yet. Okay. Let's put the movie reel on here and see what we can see. First I have to shut the curtains. There's too much light to watch a movie. Alright, you ready? Get some popcorn, Albert! Our latest invention is the flying anti-gravity sphere. It can fly anywhere in the world within a few hours. First mission, Exposition Universelle in Paris. Some good scientists are being threatened by Dalbignac. We must save them. I'll bring them here, to our secret headquarters. Its position is coded into the memory of my automatic globe. It's easy to use. We just need a compass and a code to tune the device. This time, we'll outsmart Dalvin yet. So long as he doesn't watch this movie. You'll need a compass. Look at my uncle's shed in the port. If you have a compass, you need to check the globe your father's mention it. Yeah, thank you. I don't have a compass. All right, I'll check the shed. Come with me, Albert. It's like I have a little follower like you get in other video games. I love it. I like having a companion. Uh, nope, he didn't come with me. Okay, I'll just rummage through all this junk on my own, Albert. Thank you. Cheese wheel, like in Skyrim. <laughs> There's the compass. there. Whatever this is. Is this a buoy? And we need... This is really cool. This diving suit helmet thing here. We need Rosebud. And what's this last thing here? It looks like a sun, but I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it's over here. There it is. Aha! Compass! Got the compass, Albert. The rings move, but I have no idea how to set them. Okay, I guess we'll have to figure that out by fixing the robot arm. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So what have we got? We've got an ice pick. Aha, let's use the ice pick on the block of salt. Let's break up that salt. And we'll take that salt out to Zeppelin. I don't know what we're gonna do. We've been hauling this stool around the whole time, which seems kind of silly, really, when you think about it. Carrying this big old stool with you everywhere. But okay, let's go out to Zeppelin's hangar. Let's put the salt in here. <laughs> Oh, 
we had to do. We can the do electrolysis this. is working, I see. By the way, have you seen my watch? I seem to have lost it. Oh, it was your watch. Yeah, there was a Z on that pocket watch back at my dad's place. I'll get it for you. Sorry about that. I can't remember where I needed to use the corkscrew. Oh, right, right here. This has got ink. We'll use the dropper. Take some ink. And we'll put the ink in the broken fountain pen. And we'll screw that back together. And we'll go back to my dad's laboratory. And we'll put the pen in the robot arm. And it looks like it's ready to write. Okay. Uh huh. This picture is recreated from the crystal's memory. Is it another code? Um. Yeah. And now we can take it here. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna be blue here and yellow right here and then red right there. Aha! We got a, a, a nut for a bolt and now it's a map. Is it possible to see in more detail? Yes. Uh, headquarters. My father's in Siberia in some monastery near the Tunguska River. Now to get there. Oh, I can take these now, these pliers. Okay, I guess we're off to Siberia in an airship, Albert, I assume. Please come in. My father's in Siberia. I must get there, but it's so far away. Distance is relative, Emily. Maybe even time is relative. Who knows? If you could fly, you would get to Siberia much faster. Is Zeppelin's airship ready to fly? Just about. We gotta get his watch back for him. Maybe if we use these wire cutters. There we go. Still carrying around that stool. You found my watch. Where was it? In my father's house. What were you doing in there? You shouldn't have asked. Don't move. <gasps> Dolbenyak will want to talk to Oh no, to you. he's in on this it! This airplane will land on the outskirts soon. Yes, an airplane. Into the workshop. I'm going to meet him. Don't take it personally. Dolbenyak forced me to work for him. He will stay locked in here until I return with him. Gonna take this key or are you gonna leave the key? Yeah, you're just leaving the key right here, huh? Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for some more of Modern Tales Age of Invention. Take care of yourselves until then.